Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today's video is going to be a morning walk. I just wanted to start it off right here inside one of my bathrooms um, where I keep my Milton Neopsis. Uh, so I always forget to share with you guys my Milton Neopsis. <laughs> and this is why today's video, I started it right over here because I knew that I couldn't forget to share with you guys what's going on. Uh, so my Milton Neopsis, um, I do keep inside one of my bathrooms. They are cool growers. so. In South Florida, you cannot grow them outdoors if you ever want them to bloom. Um, this is why I keep them inside a bathroom, which is which has a north-facing window. So they're just sitting right here. Um, it's actually a frosted glass, so I don't think that they get so so much direct light. Um, so maybe that that also helps. Uh, let me show you what temperatures um, I like to keep them in. So this bathroom always has these temperatures. Um, the humidity level is always around around 45 to 60 um, percent and the the um the temperature is always below 75 degrees today it's at 70 degrees you know it all depends you know because they are under there with the ac so anyway i wanted to show you that i am getting some flowers soon so i've got there some buds and i've got many bloom spikes on several of them um i've got some little bloom spikes here so I did want to show you and tell you guys um, that when they start to grow um, these little um, these little bloom spikes get stuck between the leaves so don't do what I did which is um, try to help them out because you will break the flower stem the the, um, the bloom spike it happened to me and I was so sad because it was from this one and this is one of my favorite this is, I believe, is my Rouge Picardy, which is a beautiful red um, Milton Neopsis. And what happens is that they get stuck and I tried to kind of like help it out and I, I broke the flower spike. You see right there? It's broken. So um, if you get some new blooms, I mean, if you get some new flower spikes, see how this one is right there, how it's stuck. I mean, try not to, try not to mess with it. It'll just find its way to kind of get out of there do you see how it gets stuck right like this like right between the leaves so anyway that is this is what's going on you guys with my Miltoniopsis so uh, very excited I got these two just to give you a quick um, update on these I got these two last year at the Redland show um, and then I got these three two years ago um, I got these three actually from um, I want to say from a box that um, Carmela Orchid sent me about two years ago. And, um, and these all rebloomed last April, and then now these are going to rebloom. And I got them all in bloom. So um, just a quick update on my Milton Neopsis so you guys know what's going on. If you live in South Florida or somewhere that is very dry and like how, not dry, but very hot, like here in South Florida, you can always keep them inside, you know, inside a bathroom and just... And that's it, just keep them hydrated and fertilize them once a month, which is what I do. Um, it, it's what works for me anyway. I heard the Milton Neopsis are very light feeders, so I don't fertilize them as much as I do my other orchids. So, so that was my update on my Milton Neopsis. Now let's go outside. So um, I have not been out here for a little bit. So this is actually gonna be, we're walking my garden together, you guys. I have not been out here, do not know what to expect. Um, it was raining we finally got a really nice downpour um i think it was on saturday and sunday it was um like kind of like a washout weekend so i mean not that we have anything to do anyway but um very grateful for the rain because it was it was extremely dry out here um so let's see what's going on um let's start oh let's start right over here all right so i want to begin um my my morning walk uh, sharing with you guys this beautiful flower look at this how amazing you guys so this is a paleothony <laughs> i know i said that wrong um poppy poppy lanthony um you know you guys i really don't know i always forget the name this is some cuttings that todd gave me from todd tropicals um he gave me these cuttings back um in september at the tampa orchid show and I went ahead and I attached it on this, on this um, Christmas palm right here, right next to my pool. And look at this. 
I was so surprised and so excited when I saw that I was going to get flowers. Uh, so these are the flowers from the beautiful cuttings from this papillolanthi, and I, I know I'm saying that wrong, that Todd gave me. And look at that. She's so pretty. Not fragrant, but such a beautiful flower. So really looking forward um, for this for this orchid to just take off and just start blooming everywhere because it looks so pretty and I'm so glad that I attached it there because it kind of gives some color to that area so that's um, that's exciting uh, let's see my grammatophyllum which I also keep here uh, I keep it bare root um, just also here is, is starting to just bloom away sorry I'm drinking my drinking my coffee <laughs> Um, it's starting to bloom. Um, it likes to be here. You look at these new root, look at these new growths, and it started and it, and it put out a spike. So this is my grammatophyllum, also um, starting to bloom. Pineapples, gosh, I mean, oh my God, I love my pineapples. All right, so let's see what else. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just take you. Um, no. I was gonna walk around the pool, but I think I'm gonna just go out here first. All right, so look at this dendrobium. How nice it's blooming. This is a no ID dendrobium. No idea what, what she's called. Uh, the flower spike on my Renanthra is getting taller. And let's see what's going on over here. Um, so it was raining and um, really windy this weekend. And I was a little bit worried, um, especially for my potted cattleyas. A little bit worried out here, but everything seems to be okay. Not sure if I shared with you guys um, this, this Vanda in full bloom, but this uh, Askasenda Memphian Chai is in full bloom already. She's a yellow non-fragrant Vanda and she's so pretty. So I still have my Vandas hanging um, from the hook up here on my palm trees. I have not gotten that um, that fishing wire and because I am going to do that. I probably am going to attach like a fishing string um, from one palm to the other and just kind of let them hang there so that the roots don't stick to the palms but just wanted to show you that let's see over here oh um i wanted to tell you my brassavola has taken off this year oh my goodness my brassavola has taken off this year i am i've got three blooms and then it has a ton of flower spikes that's one that's two Look at that, three and four over here. So it has really, um, you know, it has really, like I said, it's really taken off. It's the second time that it, second or third time it blooms for me. And this time I'm getting more flowers than ever. So it's very exciting. I've got a flower spike on my Sherry Baby. And then my Rosy Sunset F back there, those flower spikes are getting longer look at that i mean i don't know if you could see that but she's got a whole bunch of flower spikes you know you guys i really think that doing this change doing this transition out here my orchids are really starting to love it i mean they just look happy <laughs> i don't know if you could see all these but look at that there's one there's two there's three four five six seven i mean I counted 13, but now they're getting really, really tall, which is what I like, because I like for these to be, um, when, they, when the flowers start to, 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 um, to open, when it starts to bloom, I like for it to kind of like drape down like it did last year. So hopefully that will, I'll get the same show this year. And for the first time, my Hoya, this rope one, is, is going to bloom. So that's that's cool so like i was saying i really think that um that my orchids are really liking it out here 
Um, I've got a Phalaenopsis that had that terminal spike and she's um, putting out some flowers soon too. So look at that. The Vanda is still in bloom. So um, I did read in you guys. Okay, first I want to apologize for not getting to all the comments um, that you guys are leaving me. Look at how pretty my haiku mint. Um, because I do, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting a little bit busy, like I said. I mean, Mother's Day is coming up and just my, my, candle, my candle business is, is, is just crazy. I'm always in the kitchen making candles and shipping candles and all that stuff. Um, but I do see all of your comments and I apologize for not um, not being able to get back to you guys. I promise that I will. Um, I did read in, um, in one of my comments where you guys um, asked me, sorry, this is my Vanda Pochang. I start talking and then I, I forget to show you guys the tags. This is a Vanda Pochang and the tag is over here. I have my camera in one hand and my coffee in the other, so I can't really um, just get the tags and show you right away. Um, so where was I? So um, yeah, so I read in the comment section below where you guys want me to do a video um, of all of the different Vandas and their fragrances and their sizes. Um, and that sounds like something really cool and I really would love to do that. Um, but the problem is I would probably have to do that at, a, um, at one of the nurseries because I don't have many, I mean, I do have probably like five Vandas in bloom right now. But from all of my collection, I probably have around 20. I want to say I have 20 to 25 Vandas. Um, they really won't be all in bloom at the same time. So it's hard for me to make a video and let you know exactly what it smells like and all that stuff, unless I can actually smell it and, and for them to be in bloom. So it's a good idea. I like the idea. Thank you guys. Um, thank you for um, whoever wrote that comment. I really like that idea. So this is my Vanda Carmela, and it's the only Vanda, I think, that to me smells a little bit spicy. Yeah. It's not grapey. It's spicy. And this one, I got it with molts. And this one is called Vanda Carmela. It's, the tag is around here somewhere. And then my Haiku Mint. <laughs> I love this orchid. Look at that. This band is so pretty. All right, so let's move along. Um, last video that I made, <laughs> you guys, the rooster back here. Let's see, this is my neighbor's yard. <laughs> the rooster right here was so loud. I don't see it anywhere. They were literally like standing right by the, right by the gate. And I also have some orchids here, and just in case you're wondering. So um, here I have some of, some of my catacetums and also some of my uncidiums that um, I, still haven't, I still haven't divided. <laughs> but, um, and then I also have a cattleya which fell and then um, I put it here and then I wanted to, look at that, it fell and one of my, one of my, um, one of my pots from just one more orchids that broke. All right, so, um, okay, let me just put this down. Uh, so you guys have been asking about my, gra my this orchid right here, the one that I got from one of my coworkers that you guys, when I posted this video, told me, get rid of that thing, burn it, do something with it because it will take over your yard. Um, so I do have it still here inside this pot. It's starting to throw out more spikes. And I'm kind of scared. You guys scared me. I'm kind of scared of that orchid. So for now, it's in there. I don't want it taking over my yard. So just in case um, you're wondering, I still have it inside the same pot that um, I got it in. So it's not anywhere. It's not taking over and destroying all my other orchids. So, I mean, she's cute. Maybe if I, if I, if I put her somewhere like, like close to that gate she'll be okay um, my catacetums the ones that hadn't done anything actually these are the only ones that went dormant I think um, they're starting to bloom and these are the ones from Sunset Valley so I'm thinking that the the orchids that I got from Sunset Valley since it came from Sunset Valley which is um California uh, they're the ones that kind of went into dormancy the ones that I got at Cruel Smith you see these are all SVO 
Um, the ones that I got at Cruel Smith, which are Florida gro growers, I mean, look at that. They never went into dormancy. So I think it's just um, what they're, maybe, you know, since, look at these leaves. My goodness, they're huge. Such pretty leaves. Look at that. Um, so yeah, this one's from Cruel Smith. So maybe it's because it's a different, you know, like, since they, these came from California and they and they they go through that dormancy time, they do that. The other ones don't. I don't know. I'm just talking. I mean, I really don't even know what I'm saying. But maybe, maybe, maybe it's it's that's why that happens. I don't know. So I don't know. Anyway, having my coffee <laughs> and walking along. Mm. Mm, my little fowls are starting to little by little fade look at my jasmine vine oh I love this look at that so I love my jasmine vine it smells my god it smells amazing but it's a little bit hard to keep it tame like looking pretty because I don't have a chainsaw so I kind of have to tell um, my gardeners to to keep it pretty and they and they always forget I guess to trim it but I have not dared to get a chainsaw and you know and do that my vanilla orchid is still let's see where is it there 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 it is so there's my vanilla orchid it's still stuck and um, it's just there <laughs> hopefully it'll start you know growing uh, so anyway, yeah, so I will not dare to even have my husband buy a chainsaw because he's never used one and God forbid. Uh, but I would love to, I would love to keep that nice and trim and tight around that, around that arch. All right, you guys. Uncidiums out here. Yay. You know, I... I'm so happy today. I don't know if you could hear it in my voice, but I am just so happy today because when I walk out here and I see all of this, I get just so happy. You know, it's like my garden is happy. My flowers are happy. Everything is thriving. I love it. I love it. So this one here is, um, is a brand new flower spike from my, let's see. So this is and I still have my coffee in my hand, so it's a little bit hard. So this is the um, this is a zygo that Linda gifted me with at the um, at the Boca show in February. I got it in bloom, and uh, the tag is down here somewhere. Um, I got it in bloom, and you guys, look at this. It's got another flower spike, and. I'm gonna get about four flowers again from this beautiful zygo, and it, this zygo is just absolutely beautiful and I want to tell you that this um, this orchid has grown I mean from when I got it look at that this is from Linda and her husband gave me this beautiful zygo at the um, at the Fort Lauderdale show and it's doing so good I'm so excited I've got another flower spike from this insidium these are my my big mamas from Todd also, which are, which are doing good. <clears throat> and I've got a brand new flower. My Sherry baby is gonna bloom soon. And that's, that's the fowl right there. And there's another fowl right there. This is my gumbo limbo tree. So, so yeah, I mean, my garden is happy. I'm happy. Everything looks so hydrated and, and, and nice. All right, so this is one of those orchids, um, one of those catacetums that I'm talking about from Cruel Smith, which, let's see, there you go. Look at that, it's gonna bloom soon also. So um, I do see a difference between the two. I mean, both um, Sunset Valley and um, 
and Cruel Smith. They're both amazing, amazing growers. So, um, but it's funny how the, you know, the catacetums from both of the, bo from each of them, how they, how they just bloom differently or they just, um, they just grow differently. At least that's, that's just my observation. Maybe I'm like totally, totally wrong, but. All right. <laughs> Yes, you are so pretty. I cannot stop looking at this flower. She's just such a cute girl. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see what else over here. My foul tree. Of course I have to show you this. Look at that, still good. Since blooming since um, January, I wanna say. And here we are, almost in May, and she's still looking gorgeous. Another look around, my jasmines, and, and there you go. All right, you guys. So I'm not gonna go under my terrace today. Um, I've just gotten under there, you know, some, some orchids that you guys have seen already from my unboxing. Uh, we're already at 20 minutes. I don't wanna bore you guys to death. So I'm gonna end my video right over here um that and um and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this morning walk uh didn't have a video for you guys yesterday or the day before like i said saturday sunday was just raining pouring and there was no way i could make a video out here and um and then i've been a little bit busy but um i hope everyone is um is staying safe i have heard that um some places in i think key west are already going to start opening and little by little we're going to start um just opening and um, trying to get back into into our routines. So uh, let's see when that's gonna happen. And I promise to you, as soon as that happens, I will hit up every single orchid nursery down here um, and show you guys some pretty flowers. Um, I will uh, try to get out today and um, and bring you guys something that I've been trying to, to do. And um, so stay tuned for that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to tell you guys because I haven't been able to do it. And then if I tell you that I'm going to do something and I don't post and I feel like I'm, I'm not telling you guys the truth. So, um, just expect some videos, some fun videos coming up. Um, hopefully if I get a chance to do them today. Um, and then I also want to tell you guys that that's it. Stay healthy, stay safe. Um, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.